Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreets.com and today we are here at the Samsung Forum and we have some new devices with us. We have just did a hands-on of the Samsung Galaxy A7 and now we have the Samsung Galaxy J1 and this one is going to be an affordable phone which will come with 4G connectivity. So again, this is coming very soon to India. We are showing this device to you so that you can get an idea whether this is a phone for you in case you want to buy this phone. We have a 4.3 inch WVGA PLS TFT display. So it does have a TFT display which is again not going to look great especially take when you take a look at this phone from extreme angle so this is something which could be a weak point but there are some other things on this phone which are exciting which includes a 5 megapixel autofocus rear camera which can record high definition video we have LED flash over there and we have the loudspeaker at the back side the back cover is removable on this phone and we have a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor on this phone which is a good thing and when it comes to the weight the weight of this device is also not very heavy it is around 122 gram in terms of the weight which is good in terms of thickness it is 8.9 millimeter in terms of thickness which does make this phone kind of thin I would say not very thin but it does feel thin because of the rounded edges over there so they have provided a very a good kind of rounded edges over there and a glossy finish at the back side but again even with this glossy finish the phone does not feel slippery because it has a matte finish in terms of the overall uh, a grip and when it comes to the look only the look is kind of glossy when it comes to the micro USB port the micro USB port is actually covered behind the security thing and we have a prime microphone as well for uh, again for voice calling and again I'm not able to locate a secondary microphone probably the secondary microphone may not be there on this phone we have the power and sleep key which is a plastic button which does give decent amount of feedback and we have a volume rocker which is also a plastic button which does give a uh, this does give a good feedback at the top you have 3.5 audio jack and again we have this edge which will remain there and we can remove the back cover and show you the battery so this is how the back actually looks like this is the battery inside which is a 1850 milliampere battery as per the specification and it can give you around one day battery backup on this phone as per the information which we have got this is again the sim card slot so you can insert a sim card below which can be a micro sim and you can insert a micro sd card above that and you can expand the storage of this phone with that uh, with that micro sd memory card however you cannot install applications on the micro sd memory card on this phone we have the sim card slot too which is going to be a micro sim again and this is how the phone looks like from the back side talking about the phone from the front side we can see that we have the physical home button we have touch capacitor buttons and these touch capacitor buttons i guess do not have backlit led which is a kind of a compromise so this phone is going to be very affordable in terms of the price i'm not sure about the exact price but this is going to cost you not much amount of money this is going to be very affordable we have a camera on this device which is a two megapixel fixed focus camera on the front we have nice metric gear base we have proximity and metal sensors the overall build quality of the device is good the look and feel of the device is very premium so it does look very premium when you hold this device in one hand which is a very good thing when it comes to the ui the ui is again having the touch base ui which is running on top of android and it it feels responsive there is no problem which i can notice we do have the option of making a cellular video call which is a very good thing and when we take a look over the messaging application this is how the messaging application look like you can again type on this device easily with this keyboard with which in which the keys are kind of small in size but you do not have content input typing supported however you can easily type on this device on this 4.3 inch display unless you have very thick fingers you can always type in the landscape mode as well uh, but it does not have continuous input typing which is the case apart from this these are the application which will come pre-installed as you can see so you have all these applications coming pre-installed let's take a look over the internal configuration again this one is running a slightly light version of touch base ui you have all these toggles over there and again brightness is supported but automatic brightness support is not there on this phone which is again a compromise let's take a look over the about version and we have android 4.4.4 kitkat which is good you do have support for system update but i'm not sure whether this will get lollipop update we do not have that information as of now but it should get lollipop update let's take a look over the storage scenario and out of 4 gb of internal storage which this device has 1.83 gb is being used by the system so you have this much amount of uh, storage being used and you get approximately 2 gb or 1.97 gb to be very precise available on this device where you can actually install applications so let's take a look over the battery scenarios so here we have the battery scenario again this device does support ultra power saving mode as well so you can enable the ultra power saving mode and save battery on this phone and right now it can give you around 12 days of battery backup on ultra power saving mode when you have 99 percent of battery so again you can always use this mode whenever the battery is critical in terms of the overall uh, level we have the tethering supported as well we do have support for wi-fi hotspot you can create a wi-fi hotspot you have support for usb tethering and bluetooth tethering is also supported you do have support for gps navigation as well which is 
very good and when we take a look over the application manager i can show you the current status of the ram this device i think has one gb of ram and let me just confirm that and we do have all these applications running so we have one gb of ram on this device out of which approximately 600 mb is free and out of that 357 mb is being used and 302 mb of ram is free so 302 or 304 mb of ram is free and the device is responsive i do not face any kind of major issue on this device but again the ui is responsive and with this much amount of ram the device is functioning pretty correctly without any kind of ui glitch which is a good thing let's take a look over the camera performance and we have a 5 megapixel camera at the back which again can record high definition video which is a very good thing and let me just take a look over the camera quality we will find out the camera quality on this device as far as the front camera is concerned so let me just take the photo of this iphone 6 over there it does have auto focus and tap to focus is also supported let me just take a front camera photo as well so that we can show you the front camera quality so we have taken both of these photos it does take some time to actually capture the front camera photo so the front camera photo is looking very good i would say for the two megapixel camera this device has the kind of details it has captured and colors it has captured the photo is looking very good even when it was taken against light when it comes to the photo which has been taken from the five megapixel rear camera the five megapixel rear camera has also given a pretty good photo but details are something which are not that great i would say the camera quality is decent but not great uh, i'm not sure about the price but looks like a decent device in terms of the overall specification it has it has again a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor 1 gb of ram 122 in terms of the 122 122 gram is the weight of the phone which does make this phone fairly light and again this is going to be an affordable phone which will also support 4g on top of all these things which is a very good thing and 4.3 inch wvg display again this display is not the crisp and clear display but i do not feel any kind of pixelation at least on the phone ui uh, but again if you open a document with large amount of text you will notice some amount of pixelation so that's all from us as far as the quick hands-on review of the samsung galaxy j1 4g which is going to come very soon in india do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you